Dean Hewitson and the, uh, the winemaker and um, founder of Hewitson. I started this company 22 years ago, actually. Well, when I started the company, our family was uh, very young. One of the wines in particular I made was a, was a blend. And um, I wanted to give this wine a, a personality. It had an enormous personality in the glass, but also wanted to give it a personality with its name. It was my wife who suggested, um, why don't we call it Miss Harry, which was uh, the nickname of our, our new baby daughter, Harriet. I think wineries are one business uh, that really do suit a family sort of generational handover. Why do you start a Hughes in, in the Brossa? You obviously have other choices, Adelaide Hills and Macau Vales and, you know. Yeah, when I first, um, I, I actually thought I would make Pinot Noir from the Adelaide Hills. Uh, that's, that was sort of my first sort of thought. But um, I think at that stage too, I, I sort of realised the value of these old vineyards and that that's what Barossa Valley had. But the, the old vineyards are there for a reason and they're, they're often very, very good and very, very healthy and that's why they're still there. How, how do you actually um, insisted that your own style, you know, because in the 1960s is actually the elegance of style is like a more um, of something popular, but you know, in 90, late 1990s are not early 2000s yeah. when you just get into start to do here, and it's completely different. I think I was the first person in the Brossa Valley to make a Shiraz with 100% French oak, which is incredible, really, considering that was in 1998. So, um, I was making different wines that were being made at the time um, and the influences from overseas were very strong and I mentioned I mentioned you know making the country style type of wine I guess yeah making uh, Brossa Valley Shirazes more elegantly wasn't really you know was against the trend but trends are trends they don't last forever and uh, so I think as a winemaker it's it's more important to follow your own style, your own thoughts, because after all, a glass of wine is like a piece of art. It, it's a masterpiece because it's unique. It can't be reproduced, as opposed to following trends, which are, you know, just forcing the very, the very idea is a reproduction to, to cater for what you think people might want.